Hello class. This is in this video, I'm going to show you how to find percentile or the percentile of the given um, data value. <clears throat> so using in part two, question two here says, using the data given in the previous question. So let me reread the data. As part of a research project, the blood pressure of 1,500 patients in a hospital are recorded. The systolic blood pressure in millimeters have an approximate normal distribution with mean 125 and standard deviation of 13. So um, they say, estimate the percentile of someone whose blood pressure is 112 millimeters. So we can use, I'll draw the picture again down here. in the middle and then the mean of this data is 125 and then one standard deviation above it was 138 151 and 164 then below was 112 99 and 86 okay then i, I labeled this this is the mean in the middle. This is the mean plus one standard deviation, plus two standard deviations, plus three standard deviations. I mean, minus one standard deviation, minus two standard deviations, and minus three standard deviations. There we go. It's important for us to have this picture when we <clears throat> do these problems. So the first part says, um, estimate the percentile of somebody whose blood pressure is 112 millimeters. <clears throat> so when we find a percentile, we have to find all the area under the curve to the left of that particular place. So 112 is right. Let me shade the area. And that's because a percentile is that data value and everybody's smaller than you. So here's 112. So we're talking about all of this area that we're trying to find right now. And that no, that whatever that area is, um, that will be the, <clears throat> the percentile we're looking for. So <clears throat> I notice that I can find the area of this area. That area, because this is symmetrical and all the area in the curve is 100% or one whole, then that this the mean and everything to the left of the mean is 0.5. So that, ever, that pink region, everything inside that pink region is 0.5. So I can say that 0.5 or 50%, I'm sorry, we're, right, we're using percentages. So 50% minus, and this area, well, is between the mean and one standard deviation. So <clears throat> all of this area within one standard deviation of the mean between one standard deviation above the mean and one standard deviation below the mean, that's 68% of the data. If I split that in half, like this half and this half, then that would mean 68 divided by 2 is 34. So that means there's 34% of the data on each side of the mean, but within one standard deviation. So that area right there is 34. This is 34%. Of the data. And this is whatever 50 minus 34 is. Because the white region is what we don't want. So 50% in the pink region is the whole hat region is 50% and minus the area we don't want is at 34%. So we subtract it and we get 16%. So that's the 16th percentile. 112 is a 16th percentile, meaning that 16% of the data is below 
112. So let's go to the next one. Okay. They say 138. <clears throat> so here's 138. is right here and below. That's what we need to find where I find the percentile. There. So I notice that this area right here in this pink region is 0.5. So that means I just have to find the green region that's not inside the pink. So this area is 0.5. This is the one I have to find. As soon as I find this, I can add this region plus that region to be the total region. So this is 0 0.5. And we just saw that, that the area within one standard deviation. So the area, one standard deviation below the mean is 112. So 112 and the area up to 138, that the, the amount of data in that region was 68% was of the data. And we can see that the area between 125 and 138 is half of that 68. So we're gonna use that again. We do 68 divided by two, and that gives us 34. So we know that this the, the air, there's 34% of the data is in here. And I wrote that this is actually 50. I'll write it as a percentage, 50%. So the total area the, to the left of 38 is 50 plus 34, which is 84. So it's the 84th percentile. OK. All right. Then 164. So they want us to find this, the area of this region. And 64 is three standard deviations above the mean. So I can I know what this area is. Seeing three standard deviations below the mean and three standard deviations above the mean, this area is 90, and that's from the from the rule earlier that within three standard deviations is 99.7% 99, 99 of the data. So there's a little bit on the outside here. There's a little bit that I need to add on. If I take 99.7 and I add this much on, then I can get the total pink region. So how do I do that? I can take, because there's the same amount on this side and on this side, I can take everything underneath the curve which is gonna be 100%, subtract off this, and then I can divide it by two and that, that'll be the area in this region because these two are e equal, symmetrical and equal. So I can do 100 minus 99.7, and that gives me Point three, but then I'm going to divide it because because now now point three is these regions added together. So now they're equal regions. So I can divide it by two. So it's 
So 0 0.3 divided by two is 0 0.15. So this region must be 0.15%. And this is 99.7%. So if we add those together, 99.7 plus 0 0.15, then we get 99.85. And that is the percentile, 99.85% is the percentile. So, and there we go. All right. I um, Okay, so one more example for percentiles. And this one is, well, this one's a quick one. During a certain day, the wait time of getting it picked up by a Lyft driver is approximately normally distributed with mean six minutes and standard deviation two minutes. So I can draw the picture. The mean is in the middle where the peak is. And then the standard deviation is two. So one standard deviation below the mean, which is about the inflection point is four. And then another one below the mean is two, and then another one would be zero. And then on the other side, the inflection point is gonna be at eight, then at 10 and at 12, right? Because the standard deviation is two. Let me do six plus eight is, six plus two is eight, eight plus two is 10, 10 plus two is 12. Six minus four is, six minus two is four, four minus two is two, and two minus two is zero. Okay, it looks good. Okay, they, they, they say what, wait, the time, the wait time will be between, if you decide to, to get a lift ride, what are the chances or percentile that the wait time will be between two and 10 minutes? So we just need to find the area between two and 10. Well, it looks like if we draw in what the standard deviations are, so it's in the mean is in the middle. This is one standard deviation. This is two standard deviations. This is three standard deviations. One standard deviation below the mean, two standard deviations below the mean, and three standard deviations below the mean. Then we can see that two is two standard deviations below the mean and 10 is two standard above. So that's what that, the, according um, the empirical rule says that 95% of the data will be in that. So it'll be the 95th percentile or 90, you have a 95% chance that your wait is going to be between um, two minutes and 10 minutes. Okay, then the wait between six and 10. Okay, so here is between six and 10. So the biggest thing I notice is this region, this is 10 is, is two standard deviations above the mean. So, and that would make two is two standard deviations below the mean. So this region would have 95% of the data and that green path is half of that. So I'm gonna do 95 divided by two. And that'll be 47.5%. There's a 47.5% chance that somebody will wait between six and 10 minutes. 45.5, 47.5. All right, then the wait time will be two minutes or more. So two minutes or more
is all of this region. So basically we're gonna take the answer that we just got and we're gonna add on this tail, which is the amount that's outside or half of the amount that's outside of two standard deviations. So we're gonna start by, by um, <clears throat> Doing the 100% minus the 95% that's within two standard deviations, that's 5%, divide that by two, and that's 2.5%. That means there's 2.5% of the data in this region, and we already said there was 95% of the data in that region. So um, <clears throat> it's 95, per 95 plus 2.5 is 97.5. And there we go. That is that are those are our answers to this section um with percentiles. All right, I hope that that you um underst are understanding this and I'll do one more video of um examples um like the the first problem in 17.3. All right, have a great day. Bye.